How's it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel recently samsung has released a couple of updates to the good lock modules that bring in some interesting new features which i'm sure not many of you know about with that being said if you're a samsung user and you love customizing your smartphone using the good lock application then this is a must watch video for you today i'll be showing you some new good lock features that every galaxy owner should start using right now So stay tuned and watch this video till the very end. Also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started. I know a lot of you might have already installed good lock on your Samsung phone but in case you are new to Samsung or just don't have good lock then all you need to do is head over to the Galaxy store and search good lock. I'll also make sure to drop a direct link in the description below. It's a free application made by Samsung specially for customization. So once you install Good Lock, simply open the app and here you'll see a list of all different modules. If there is an update for any of these modules, you'll see the update option right next to that module. So just make sure you have updated and running the latest version. Now first let's talk about one of my favorite module and that has to be the one hand operation plus. This module basically lets you add more gestures to the left or right side of the screen so you can easily control your phone with just one hand you can customize actions to use when you swipe in different directions with the recent update they have added a new option called minimize pop up window which you can assign either to the left or right handle now let me show you how it actually works i'll just go to the right handle and assign this new action that is minimize pop up window Now if I swipe from the right side it opens that specific app in a pop up view and if I swipe again it minimizes that application I think this can be extremely useful if you are using multiple apps on your phone you can easily minimize one application and continue using the other without any issue so this is a brand new feature that's been added in the latest version of one hand operations Next up let's talk about the quick start module. This lets you fully customize the quick settings panel on your Samsung phone. You can style your quick settings with different themes. You can change the clock settings that appears on the status bar. There is an option to apply color palette for the notification icons. You can also add more toggles in a row for quicker access. And finally we have this option called visibility of indicator icons. When you go inside this is where we can customize the status bar. Basically you can disable or hide some of these icons from your status bar to make it look clean and less cluttered. Now let's say I want to hide the Wi-Fi icon from my status bar. All I need to do is just disable the Wi-Fi toggle from this list. Guys with the latest update they have added the mobile hotspot toggle. So when you are using the mobile hotspot on your phone you can decide whether you want this icon to appear on your status bar or not. Like this we have options to remove the location battery bluetooth power saving and you can even remove the vpn icon from appearing on the status bar so these are some of the interesting and new features that are available under the quick start module finally i'll show you the home up module as you guys know this particular module allows you to customize the look of your recent apps menu and it has options to change the home screen grid on your samsung phone Now recently they have added this really interesting feature that lets you increase or decrease the app icon size as per your requirement. Inside the home up module, click on home screen. Here you will see something called as finder access. What it does is it lets you quickly access the finder by simply swiping down anywhere on the home screen. In order to search any application or find anything on my phone, I just need to swipe down on my home screen. The only drawback is that you won't be able to access the quick settings panel and for that you need to swipe from the upper portion of the screen. Next, you get the option to control the background blur when you open app drawer and the best part is it even lets you to change the background color depending on your current wallpaper. Not only this, you can also adjust the background transparency. So these are the options related to the app drawer. And now if I go inside the app icon settings you get this option which allows you to adjust the app icon size as per your need you can make the icons as small as 80% or go all the way up to 120% i usually prefer to keep it at around 80 to 85% because i think it's a perfect size for the app icons apart from this there are separate toggles to disable the icon label so now you can just remove the labels on your home screen and still keep it on the app drawer So these are some new and interesting good lock features that I'm sure not many of you know about. Let me know in the comment section which is your favorite feature from this video and if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.